Once you have created the data model and then the corresponding database context class, the next crucial step is to add the dependency injection. When you are working with web API projects, whether it's a minimal API or the controller API, dependency injection is a crucial part of it. With this dependency injection, you will be able to inject the required services on demand. So in this step, we are going to add such dependency injection by first adding them to the service collection so that it is available for consumption in other methods like map get, map post and so on. In our current context, it is required to access the database context class that we have implemented below. So this CMS database context needs to be accessed within these methods that we are going to do through dependency injection. At this juncture, I would like to stress one point about minimal APIs. The dependency injection in minimal API is a bit different than the normal web APIs, basically the controller APIs. In the case of controller APIs, the dependency injection is handled at the controller class level. It means that whatever the classes or the types that you are adding to the service collection will be consumed in the corresponding controller class. Whereas in the case of minimal APIs, since we don't have those controller classes, those dependency injected types will be consumed at the individual endpoint level. So in our case, it is going to be the map related methods. Okay, next let's see how we can add it to the service collection. First, you need to have the namespace. We have Microsoft Entity Framework Core. The next is to go ahead and register the DB context to the service collection. You can do this by going to the builder and then builder.services. So we need to add the DB context to the service collection. So for this, you use add DB context and then followed by the DB context class name. So we had added CMS database context as the class. Once it is done, then in case you want to customize any options, then you can consider to use the options type exposed by this. In case you don't have anything further, then you can complete this step. But since we want to add the dependency injection through the CMS database context and also want to use in-memory collection for the entity framework, I'm going to use the options and set the in-memory settings. So for this, you can use options followed by options dot use in-memory database. So this setting is going to force the entity framework to use an in-memory database so that we can concentrate on implementing the web APIs instead of focusing on entity framework. So let's give it a name. Let me give it as CMS. This should be okay, CMS database. So now we have got the type courses. We have the database context class that handles a database related communication. And we have also added this to the DB context to the service collection. So now all the pre requests are completely done. Now we can start implementing the map get function. Let's do that in the next step.